casting over there. Slow draws honey hole. Good morning. It's been a while since I've talked to this thing, so bear with me. Um, I'm in the truck warming up right now. It is currently 32 degrees even, and it is chilly up here. 39 in Silverton last night, and yeah. All right, it's been so long, I actually forgot to put my microphone on, so I probably sound different now. Um, so, I made it up here. I'll show you guys around camp, and I keep looking at myself over there. I'll uh, show you guys around camp. So, uh, my original plan was to hike over this mountain right here and go to Silver Lake, which is right over there. But now looking at it, this is just a bunch of uh, off-road trails and nothing goes over the mountain. Here's the road I came in on. It was sketchy. It was starting to get dark. There's a couple of places the dirt washed down over the trail and it was kind of narrow, but I got out and looked and it wasn't as narrow as I thought it was. I was just being paranoid. But here's the valley I came up. There's the road, County Road 33. Comes up. Yeah. I'm shaking. Let me get the tripod out, I guess. I'm gonna do any more video up here. I just wanted to show you guys how beautiful it was up here. Even though it's frigid, 32 degrees, it was 90 degrees when I left home. I'm gl really glad I brought this winter coat, my hunting coat, because without it, I would be freezing right now in a hoodie. But I'm gonna go in the truck and get warmed up, and then once I get my hands warmed, I'm gonna pack up camp. I tried lighting my stove up here, it's too high, my stove doesn't wanna run, and the wind blows it right out. So I'll get this all packed up and we'll head down the mountain, make some coffee. Maybe we'll have a, maybe we'll have a morning time breakfast. All right, well, here is the truck. Got my scooter. I got that from a good friend from work. I got a container for my food. Got a container for my cooking stuff. I got my fridge. Wired in a house battery and did some other stuff. Nothing much. Other than that, it's bone stock. I put a two inch leveling kit in the front and that's it. It's not lifted and all kinds of crap like my Land Rover. Keeping it simple. Seems to be working so far. Except I forgot my tonneau cover open last night and some of my stuff got a little wet. All right, time to break down camp. In time. It took a few minutes. I'm gonna take it so long because my hands were so damn cold I can't feel my fingers. <laughs> and that the big tarp cover, the black cover, is hard because it's so damn cold it's like vinyl. But here's one of them washout spots I was talking about that I just went over. Anyways, here it is. I guess I'll catch you guys down at Silverton. I'm gonna go down there and make some coffee. Buy some coffee, something. It's too cold and windy up here to make it. Maybe I'll stop some way on the way down. Get to a lower altitude and the trees block the wind. 
won't be so chilly. So I think we're about 3,000 feet, almost 3,000 feet above Silverton right now. So we got a, we got quite a descent to go. That's where we're going. Made it down the mountain. We came from way on the other side of this. We're back down here at Silverton. Got my water out boiling. I'm gonna make some mountain meal breakfast thing. Rudy said they're not very good, but I'm not. I don't care, I'm starving. All I ate yesterday was a cookie and a power bar or whatever. So. It's breakfast skillet. Got uh, shredded potatoes, scrambled eggs, mixed with pork sausage, peppers, and onions, freeze dried. Sounds amazing. Friend said it's not very good. We'll see. It was a little chilly last night. I'm ready for this coffee. I'm definitely getting a heavier sleeping bag before tonight. 50 degree bag was not cutting it. Nah, at all. I should have brought my 20, my zero degree bag. I had it packed. I was like, nah, it's not gonna be that cold up there in July, June, whatever it is. I was wrong. I looked at the weather. It was like 45, my 50 degree bag will be fine. Well, up there it was probably less than 32 degrees. So, coffee. Coffee's getting pretty close to boiling. Actually, I'm boiling just water first. So I can put it in my mountain meal and then I'm gonna drop my percolator in there with the rest of the water and use the rest of the water for coffee. Should give me about two cups of coffee and breakfast. I guess I'll uh, catch with you guys in just a little bit. All right, we're heading down County Road 2, going to Animus Forks. And from Animus Forks, I believe we're taking Corkscrew Gulch to Ironton. I'm not 100% sure because I lost my paper that I had all my stuff written down on. This is where we decided to air down on my Land Rover last time. This road is rough, but it's not near as bad in the truck as it was the Land Rover. We stopped right on this corner in the middle of the night. We just aired on the tires, so they were just beating the crap out of us. forks and now we're gonna go find the trail that's gonna take us to Ironton and then we'll go find Ophir Pass and end up in Telluride hang out there for the day and then go find somewhere to camp not necessarily in that order we'll see how long it takes us to do Corkscrew Gulch or maybe it's California Gulch I think that's what we're doing we'll see when we get there I gotta figure it out. It's California Gulch. That's when we're going. We're gonna go California Gulch, go over the pass, and then hit Hurricane Gulch. It'll take us into uh, Ironton. 
Man, already this is looking pretty awesome. California Gulch is mean. I haven't even made it that far from Los Angeles. You can still see the guys down there. About to come up on this old mill. We'll go check that out. Yeah, but it looks like they got it cleared, so let's go make this pass. It's pretty weird to be up here in the snow. They cleared the snow off the path, so we're gonna go. We made it this far in two-wheel drive. Let's see how far we make it up this in two-wheel drive. Oh look, there's a Jeep up there. I see where we're going. You can't hardly see me right. at the snow of my mirror. Yep, I'm gonna need four-wheel drive for this one. Maybe. Yep. <clears throat> All right, made it to California Pass. We are way up here, boys. Got some side-by-sides coming up. We're gonna descend down the other side now. Well, this wouldn't be an episode of Gigging Them Outdoors if something didn't go wrong. I used a grade five bolt as a stabilizer in the side of this. I just drilled and tapped it. And the problem with the grade 5 bolt is apparently, if you get it focused maybe, it just smashes the bolt whenever this thing wants to rock. So I went to the hardware store here in Ure, or however the heck you say it, and I went and picked up a grade 8 bolt. See if that holds up a little bit better. This thing wobbles a lot. Threads aren't ruined. And you torque this thing down. I needed done in Ure on the scooter. God, the thing is so much nicer to park than my truck in town. Well, I got it loaded back up and now I'm parked at Ofer Pass, Ophir Pass, I don't know how to say it. Uh, I'm, gonna take, I'm gonna take that in the morning. I said we, I forgot I'm doing this alone this time. Um, lighting kind of sucks, sun is intense. But, so here's camp. And here's the pass. So that should be easy enough to figure out in the morning. Got my truck halfway leveled up. And now I'm going to deploy my tent.
taking this 50 degree bag out. I went and bought a 30 degree bag because I froze my ass off last night. I decided to pan sear me a ribeye here in the woods. It looks pretty tasty. See the little camp stove over there? A little bit of butter, salt. Here we go. Getting chilly. I'd say it's probably. I had to put my winter coat on because my hoodie wasn't warm enough anymore. I was getting cold. So it's probably below 50, probably in the 40s, maybe 50s. I don't know. Usually a hoodie, I'm good to like 40. But of course, it has been summer, so I'm not acclimated to the cold or the altitude. Last night was miserable. I should have stayed way lower than 13,000 feet. Um, my feet were all tingly. My fingers were all tingly. My whole body was really tingly. Um, just from hypo hypopoxia, some, something like that. Something poxia. I don't remember exactly, but hypoxia, that's it. But yeah, it was bad. On top of that, it was super cold that high. Which, I should have thought about that. That was my stupidity. But I brought a 50, 50 degree bag. And I intended to throw my zero degree bag in the truck just in case. But I forgot. So here I am, I just had to buy a $100 30 degree bag. Hopefully tonight goes way smoother. I put some, uh, made some coffee earlier. I poured some of that coffee in a water bottle. And I threw that in the foot of my sleeping bag so it'll be nice and warm later. Oh, that's, a, that's the best camping hack ever. Get an Algene bottle. Those work the best because they're so big. Throw it in the foot of your thing. By the time you go to bed, your whole sleeping bag on the inside is warm. And that Nalgene bottle is warm. And you can put your feet on it. My feet are the first thing that always gets cold in my sleeping bag. And I cannot keep them warm. Oh yeah, I was talking about my feet. They're the first thing that always get cold, it doesn't matter. And then they start sweating and get even colder. It's like the colder they get, the more they sweat. It doesn't make any sense, but they do. And if they just stay warm, they don't sweat, so. Watching. Casting over there. Slow draws honey hole. Whew.